Mr. Morali Pili. Mr. Speaker, the term short to medium term assistance, SMTA, is a single category describing Comcare assistance that is not long term in nature. In terms of process, both the processing time and the duration of approved support, we make no distinction between what may be considered short term or medium term assistance. More than 9 out of 10 Comcare applications, including renewal applications, have been processed within four weeks once the necessary documents have been submitted by applicants. Approved applications are typically four periods of about three to six months and are renewable on further application. Mr Pillay. Mr Speaker, sir, may I ask the Honourable Senior Parliamentary Secretary whether MSF is prepared to review its system uh, to, to set timelines for uh, three categories of cases, short-term assistance, medium-term assistance, and long-term assistance. The reason why I suggest this is because then there'll be efficiency to, in, in relation to provision of time-bound support for these families. And it'll also result in saving of manpower on, and uh, time on the part of the MSF officers in assessing each case to see whether they should be the help should be renewed. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, I thank the Honourable Member for his additional supplementary questions. I think there are two buckets here. One is for long-term assistance. Typically, we are looking at um, residents who may not be able to um, be in employment. So we are talking about seniors who live alone, seniors who are not able to work, and in the long haul, will need assistance uh, for quite a long time. So that's uh, long-term assistance. For short to medium-term assistance, we are looking at families and I, agree, I think member will agree with me that there will be some variability in terms of the conditions in each family. So, well, I've mentioned earlier in my original reply that um, we do, I mean, the, the families are able to come back to the SSOs, to the social service office, to renew their applications even before the applications are due to expire. And the point about this renewal process is not so much to improve, I mean, to impose an unnecessary bandwidth tax on these families, but rather to have regular check-ins with these families, so that together with the families, we can journey with them, understand their difficulties they're facing, and then render assistance where needed. So, as I mentioned in my early reply, between short to medium term, we don't make that distinction, but I think we, the principle is one and the same, and that is to lend appropriate and prompt assistance to the families where needed. Thank you. Mr Pillay. So I apologise if I wasn't clear in my earlier question. The point is this, you have a category called short to mid-term Comcare assistance. I heard from the Honourable Senior Parliamentary Secretary that the Ministry doesn't make a distinction in relation to the timelines for the review. My point is uh, whether the MSF could consider imposing timelines or rather coming up with pr appropriate timelines so there's no mismatch in expectations of families getting assistance and, and the expectations of the ministry in relation to assessing whether or not continued care and assistance is needed. I have now situations whereby families are coming up and saying, look, my situation hasn't changed and yet I have to come back to MSF to submit my case for review. And that presents a waste of time and effort. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, I thank the member for his supplementary questions. I think two points I'll make in response. First is the fact that I think um, between families to families, there is differences in circumstances, differences in terms of the challenges that each family faces. So what is applicable to one family might not be quite applicable to the rest. The second point I want to make is that the renewal process, as much as possible, we have made it less onerous. So in terms of documents submission, we are not expecting the family to come back with the full suite of documentation that was needed at first application. In fact, uh, we, might, we will only need documentations that uh, reflect the changes. So for instance, uh, if there's changes in terms of employment status due to hospitalisation leave, medical leave, or changes in other aspects of uh, their financial conditions, those documents can be presented to the, to the social service office so that relevant assistance can be presented. So um, 
And in terms of making sure that there is as little bandwidth tax on them as possible for the renewal process, um, I think uh, the member will be happy to note that actually now applications for renewal as well as first applications can be made online on the Support Go Where portal. So as much as possible, we are trying to make this as seamless and as frictionless a process for families as possible.